हे गाइस तो चलो आज बात करते हैं दैट वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन एंड दिस इज 81 रेज टू पावर साइन स्क्वायर एक्स प्लस 81 रेज टू पावर कॉस स्क्वायर एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू 30 एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द एक्स वैल्यू नाउ हियर यू विल रिक्वायर टू फार्मूला फर्स्ट फार्मूला व्हिच इज रिक्वायर्ड इज अ ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिकल फार्मूला साइन स्क्वायर एक्स प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू 1 और यहीं से आपको आप यू विल यूटिलाइज द फार्मूला व्हिच विल बी यूज्ड इन दिस क्वेश्चन सेकंड फार्मूला दैट यू नीड टू नो और नीड टू रिमेंबर इज दैट एनी पावर रेज टू एक्स माइनस वाई so if there is a negative you can write it as a raised to power x upon a raised to power y so if there is a negative means difference in the power to wo power gets in the division so this these two formulas would be required for solving this question so chali let's get started this 81 can be written as 3 raised to power 4 because 81 is 3 raised to power 4 and this sin square x will remain as it is plus yahi same cheez yahan pe bhi kar sakte hain this will be 3 raised to power 4 81 and this cos square x So from this formula, can I write cos square x as one minus sine square x? So I have written one minus sine square x. Likha, so I will write instead of cos square x as one minus sine square x. So and is equals to thirty. So what will happen? This will become three raised to power sine square four sine square x plus four into one will be four, and four into minus sine square x will be minus four sine square x. Okay, equals to thirty. अब क्या होगा नाउ एज आई हैव सेड एक्स माइनस वाई अगर पावर में हो तो यू कैन राइट ए रेस टू पावर एक्स अपॉन ए रेस टू पावर वाई तो ये जो नेगेटिव पावर है विल कम टू द डिनोमिनेटर सो दिस विल बिकम थ्री रेस टू पावर फोर अपॉन थ्री रेस टू पावर फोर साइन स्क्वायर एक्स एंड हेयर इट विल बी थ्री रेस टू पावर फोर साइन स्क्वायर एक्स एज इट इज एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू थर्टी ठीक है नाउ आफ्टर दिस ऑल्सो यू कॉन्ट सॉल्व इट डायरेक्टली सो हेयर यूल हैव टू डू वन थिंग यूल हैव टू अज्यूम यूल अज्यूम दैट लेट थ्री रेस टू पावर फोर साइन स्क्वायर एक्स If you assume this thing to be k, some variable k, so this is your k and plus three raised to power four upon k. So this entire thing can be written as k plus three raised to power four whole divided by k, and that is equals to thirty. So now it will become a very simple quadratic equation. So let's see that. So that is k plus three raised to power four is eighty one. Eighty one upon k equals to thirty. This three raised to power four. Okay. Okay. Now you can do the quadratic equation. Although you can do the hit and trial also, but quadratic will give you an apt root where there will will not be any scope of much consideration that okay will there be more roots or not. So if you do the quadratic, it will be you can take the LCM k square plus eighty one and whole divided by k is equals to thirty. Now taking this to this side, cross multiplication k square plus eighty one and that is equals to thirty k. Now this thirty k will go to the left hand side. So this will become k square minus thirty k plus eighty one equals to zero. Now you have to do the middle term splitting. So for middle term splitting, what we do? Coefficient of square term and the constant term. We multiply both of them. So coefficient of square term is nothing one, and here the constant term is eighty one. So one into eighty one is eighty one. Now eighty one has to be broken into two multiples, whose addition or subtraction will give me thirty, or minus thirty. You can say. So twenty eighty one can be written as twenty seven into three. 27 into 3 is 81, and using 27 and 3, I can get minus 30. How? I can write minus 27 and minus 3. Minus 27 k minus 3 k, I can get minus 30 k. And the remaining term will be as it is k square, and then this 81. So now what you can do? You can take common from first two terms. K is common. Remaining is k minus 27. And from these two terms, the next two terms, I can take minus 3 common. So minus 3 taken common, k. And from here, if you take minus 3 common. Minus twenty seven is going to be remaining. Okay, now you have got a k minus twenty seven. You have got a k minus twenty seven here. So both the brackets are same. So you can take k minus twenty seven as common. If you have removed this bracket and this bracket, what is remaining? Remaining is this k and minus three. So in the next bracket, you'll write k minus three equals to zero. So two brackets multiplication is zero. So either the first bracket will be zero or the second bracket will be zero. So either K minus twenty seven is zero. This means k equals to twenty seven, or k minus three is going to be zero. So this implies k is equals to three. Now what was k? So we had assumed this k to be three raised to power four sine square x. So this is three raised to power four sine square x, and this is also the same thing three raised to power four sine square x. So we have got two situations. First saying that this three raised to power four sine square x is equals to twenty seven. And second, saying that three raised to power four sine square x is equals to three. So let's solve both of them. So now, twenty-seven can also be written as three raised to power three. 
and this is coming equal to 3 raised to power 4 sin square x. So here since bases are same, both the bases are same, so the powers also must be equal, then only the number will be equal. So from here I can write 3 equals to 4 sin square x. So if 3 equals to 4 sin square x, this 4 will go to this side. So hence 3 by 4 will be equal to sin square x. And now you can take under root or square root both side. So this will be root 3 upon 2 plus minus equals to sin x. Why I have done plus minus? Because whenever you have x square equals to 2 square, this type of equation where both the sides you have a square. Whenever you remove the square, you always remove it with a plus minus. Okay, the reason lies in the quadratic equation explanation, not now. Okay, so we have got this 3 by 4 could have been written as, I'm just writing it in the rough, could have been written as 3 by 2 whole squared. So here also square, here also square. So when I remove the square, I put a plus minus. So root 3 by 2 either plus or minus. This is the first set of values for sin x or you can say x. So if you have got sin x, from here you can even get x x is root 3 by 2 at which angle so x is root 3 by 2 at 60 degree and also 120 degree so both the values give me positive thing now if you have to go for a negative one so 180 plus 60 that is 240 degree and uh, 360 minus 60 it's 300 degree now i am writing these angles only in the range of 0 to 360 although if the range is above that you can keep on putting and you can put the general term so this is first set of volume now the second set is obviously going to be from here 3 equals to 3 raised to power 4 sine square x so here you'll write that 3 is equals to 3 raised to power 4 sine square x and from here 3 raised to power 1 will be equals to 3 raised to power 4 sine square x bases are same so the powers must be equal so you'll write that this employs 1 equals to 4 sine square x now very simply you know that 4 will go to the denominator so it will be 1 by 4 equals to sine square x now you this 1 by 4 can be written as 1 by 2 whole squared and as I have said right now, both the square, if you remove, you'll have to put plus minus. So plus minus 1 by 2 equals to sin x. Now sin x gives value 1 by 2 at which angles? So x is equals to 30 degree, that is pi by 6. Or 180 minus 30, that is 150 degree. So if I am not wrong, that is 5 pi by 6. This is in 0 to 180. And similarly, if you are being asked pi uh, means uh, in 0 to 360, so that will be 7 pi by 6. And again 2 pi minus like 11 pi by 6 11 pi by 6 so these all values in the range of 0 to 2 pi so either you can write it this way 0 to 2 pi or they have been asked 0 to 360 so you can write it like this so there will be altogether 4 and 4 8 values of x in the vicinity of 0 to 2 pi if they have asked that okay uh, you just tell me the value in the in the first quadrant then only two values will be there 60 and 30 if they have asked that in the first and second quadrant that will be the value so i hope you like the video do let me know in the comment box and here is the question for the next video here we go so guys i hope you loved and enjoyed the problem and if that is the case so i would like to give you one more problem as a challenge which you should solve and send me the answers what do you say so if, if you are ready here is the problem in this problem what you have to do you have to solve this question and write the answers in the comment box if I get a lot of right answers, then I'm very, very happy. I'll be very happy to see all of you solving these challenging questions. And in case if you're not able to solve, just write down in the comment box that, sir, I'm not able to solve it. Kindly help or kindly guide. I'll be very happy and uh, based on the responses given by you guys in the comment box, I'll be bringing a solution video for this particular question in the next session. Okay. So I hope you loved and enjoyed this video. So if you, if that is the case, please write down in the comment box your valuable feedback. Do like the video and subscribe the channel for more such beautiful contents. See you in the next video. Thank you.